Metal 3D printing could change much of the world around us if it was fast enough and cheap enough for mass production. Introducing the production system, powered by single-pass jetting. At up to 100 times faster than laser-based systems, it's the first metal 3D printing solution for mass production. It works by combining two powder spreaders and one print unit into a single pass system to both spread metal powder and print. Unlike existing metal 3D printing, there is no wasted motion with single pass jetting. A single pass starts in the powder spreader where a metering system deposits metal powder and a compacting system forms a layer as thin as a human hair. The print bar follows, jetting droplets of a binding agent. Millions are jetted per second, binding metal powder to form high-resolution layers. Anti-sintering agents are then deposited, making it possible for supports to fall off after sintering, saving hours of post-processing. Once the layer is dried, the process repeats itself. Single-pass jetting is bi-directional. We combined all the necessary steps for printing into a single pass, so that whenever there is movement, there is printing. This makes it possible to print parts in minutes instead of hours. Once printed, the build box is depowdered and brown parts are arranged onto sintering trays and placed into the furnace. A closed-loop thermal control system regulates temperatures in real time as parts are heated to just below their melting point. Remaining binder is removed and metal particles are fused to form a dense solid. Desktop Metal's proprietary software manages the entire workflow from print to sintered part and is designed to easily integrate with existing in-house digital factory infrastructure to produce metal parts. The result is sheer throughput. In the time it takes laser-based processes to produce just 12 impellers, desktop metal single-pass jetting technology would have produced over 500. To date, metal 3D printing has been too expensive and too slow to change the world around us. At up to 100 times faster than existing technologies, the production system unlocks the cost per part needed for mass production. For the first time, it's possible to go to market with metal 3D printing. By leveraging and extending HP MultiJet Fusion technology for printing 3D plastics, HP MetalJet can propel your business with the most advanced metals 3D printing technology for mass production. Get ready to take on new jobs and unlock new revenue streams. Inside the printer, the carriage features six print heads arranged in two print bars. Up to four different nozzles can print HP binding agent in the same 21 micron grid on the powder bed, providing four times nozzle redundancy. The printing process starts by spreading a layer of metal powder. Then, HP binding agent is jetted at precise locations onto the powder bed to define the geometry of single or multiple parts. The energy source helps evaporate liquid components and cure the material. At the end of the process, a high-strength green part can be removed from the powder bed and the remaining powder can be processed and reused. Out of the printer and after decaking, the part is sintered using an industry standard sintering solution. HP MetalJet breaks through the productivity, quality, and cost constraints of existing 3D printing technologies for metals. Compared to powder bed fusion, HP MetalJet produces more isotropic grain structure in the sintered part that results in more uniform material properties. Compared to metal injection molding, a time-consuming debinding process is unnecessary with HP MetalJet, taking up to 20 hours out of the workflow. Now you can raise your productivity to new levels and produce complex parts that were simply not possible before in cost-effective, high-volume runs. 
XJet Nanoparticle Jetting. Manufacturing high-strength metal parts with the ease and versatility of inkjet-based additive manufacturing. Here's how it works. The challenge is to enable metal to be deposited in a liquid form so it can be jetted from inkjet nozzles. To do this, the XJet system uses nano-sized particles suspended within our patented liquid formula. Eliminating inefficient lasers, this metal liquid formula can be jetted from the printing heads, representing a revolution in metal additive manufacturing. The metal materials are packaged within specially adapted cartridges that are easily loaded by hand into the XJET system. Because there's no powder vat, XJET uses only the material required, saving space and eliminating the need for handling metal powders. Send your STL design to print. You're now ready to print your metal part. The print head deposits a fine layer of metal liquid droplets and support material where needed onto the system build tray. With each pass of the print head, the metal part builds up as the tray descends. The metal liquid formula and the support material are jetted from many thousands of printing nozzles simultaneously in a process that's up to five times faster than laser metal printers. Temperature of up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit or 300 degrees Celsius causes the liquid jacket around the metal nanoparticles to evaporate, allowing the stochastic metal particles to achieve virtually the same metallurgy and density as traditional traditionally made metal parts. After printing, the support component, which is made of a different material, is easily disintegrated and removed. To finalize the process, the printed parts go through sintering. With layer thickness of a few microns, the result is never before seen levels of detail, surface finish and accuracy, with no compromise on speed or build time. Welcome to a new era in metal additive manufacturing. X1, a global leader in binder jetting, has expanded its European Adoption Center. The 2,000-square-meter facility now offers metal binder jet 3D printing alongside sand production. X1 systems process a variety of materials using different binder systems and triple ACT powder compaction. Challenge us with your application. The key to a successful metal component starts with design. Our Adaption Center actively supports customers in adapting existing designs to deliver unique additive manufacturing solutions. In the design phase, you should first consider the component's material. On top of that, elements containing wall structures that are too thin, closed structures or overhangs that are too thick should be adapted, as these can lead to challenges later on when depowdering and sintering. The Innovent Plus is ideal for application development. The machine offers plenty of different settings, which help users understand the process better and allows a variety of materials and components to be tested. The Innovent Plus is a great machine to serve our customers in the Metal Adoption Center. First, the Innovent Plus is a very compact machine that is also very flexible. This makes it very easy to operate and change over build jobs, and the machine is easy to clean. The flexibility of the Innovent system supports the material and application consultation focus of our European metal team. And last but not least, the open system and the many different setting options are also a great help. These allow us to test lots of materials with different print parameters. Curing is the thermal process after printing, in which the printed components are dried for several hours to make them stronger. The green parts must be handled carefully, as the printed components have not yet reached their final strength. During the next step, depowdering, the metal powder that was not bound during printing is collected and conditioned to ensure efficient use of materials in our manufacturing processes. Up to 95% of this material can be reused for future print jobs.
Sintering is the final key step in the metal binder jetting process chain. Through heat treatment in the furnace, final parts achieve high-quality microstructures with densities greater than 97%. Our expert team continuously works on optimizing the printing and sintering process while testing new materials to ensure that our customers receive reliable, reproducible, and predictable parts at every step of the process. Triple ACT powder compaction technology allows us to achieve and reproduce very high green densities, resulting in minimal shrinkage during sintering. The shrinkage of green parts depends on the material and powder quality, and it is between 15 and 25 percent after sintering, usually 20 percent. Here at X1, we use an optical measurement system to determine the shrinkage and calculate shrink rates. Three D metal printing is an unstoppable force, and digital metal is one of the most successful technologies on the market. Introduced in 2013, this unique binder jetting method of producing small, high-resolution components with excellent surface qualities, is quickly gaining ground in many industries. With numerous printers in serial production and an ever-increasing number of components manufactured, digital metal has proven to be the answer to fast and cost-effective fabrication of complicated and highly detailed designs with a wide material choice. Now, digital metal takes yet another step to push the entire industry forward by launching fully automated no-hand production concept. The majority of the process steps will be automated, which will minimize manual work. Imagine the gain this will mean for productivity. The digital metal process follows five steps and starts with a CAD file which is sliced into 42 micrometer thick 2D layers and builds the component layer by layer. Printing using high precision binder jetting and layers of metal powder takes place at room temperature in a build box that does not require any protective atmosphere, which is unique for digital metal. No supports are needed since no melting takes place during printing. Digital Metals printers have been used in full-scale production since 2013 and have proven to be extremely accurate and reliable. The technology is continuously developed and the machines already in operation are upgraded to the latest standard. The first machines delivered, for example, have been upgraded with new software, a larger build box and a cover. Once the printing is complete, a robot moves the build boxes for post-treatment in a CNC-operated depowdering machine. The remaining metal powder is removed and reused in the printing process and the parts placed on sintering plates. The robot then moves the plates to the sintering furnace for combined debinding and sintering, either in batches or for continuous production. We believe there is a huge potential in our unique technology as it enables production of complex, highly detailed components at a low cost. Digital method is ready for mass production and over 30 designs are currently in volume production at series up to 40,000 pieces per annum. With ready to ship high precision printers available at short notice and an array of potential applications, Digital Metal is destined to revolutionize 3D metal printing. If you want to see what the future looks like in real life today, check out the Digital Metal technology. While you're watching this film, digital metal printers around the world are busy creating value and literally shaping the future for world-leading industrial companies. So why wait? Tomorrow is already here.